Hi folks, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give a bit of a rundown on temporary tables in Transact SQL. So what are temporary tables? Temporary tables are result sets that are saved to disk. Um, and this makes them quite different from table variables, which I'll talk about in a subsequent tutorial, which are similar in many ways, but they are then saved to um, saved up into memory or RAM. So the good thing about um, temporary tables is that can, they can be accessed multiple times. So this makes them really handy in building cascading logic. So we might have a, um, a query that drops information into one temporary table. You then build another query that pulls that information out of the temporary table, drops it into another one. And that way you can build incrementally more complex um, or you can link together lots of um, sequences of logic, um, which can be pretty handy at times. So essentially there's two types of, um, of temporary tables, local temp tables and global temp tables. Um, so local temp tables can be identified by the single, um, the single sort of hash or pounds um, prefix and gl the global temp tables have the double um, hash prefix. So local um, temp tables are only accessible in the current sort of session while global um, temp tables are accessible to, um, to other sessions. So probably best way to explain about temp tables is to jump into a practical example. So what we'll do is I'll just um, we'll look at a very very simple um, table so this is a table with some um, first names and last names and IDs in them and we're going to run a um, three layers of logic um, through that so I'm just going to copy this from a um, from here I'll drop it in um, I won't bother putting the uh, this code on the website because um, you could just recreate this very very simply um, yourself so what we're going to do in the first step is select actually I'll just make sure this is referring to the right database so we're going to select the first name and last name from the salesperson table and so and then what we'll do is we're going to insert um, the results into a temporary, a, sorry, a local temporary table called step one. Um, this uh, code here is concatenating or joining the first name and last name together and putting it into a column called full name. The next step is we're going to select the information from this first temporary table um, and put it into a second temporary table. So this query will also have a, um, a where filter in it. So we're going to select two names from that first temporary table and drop it into the second temporary table. And the final step is to add a uh, Mr. prefix to the full name uh, to these two um, names here and rename the column Mr. X. So essentially it's cascading logic from this um, query here into temp table called step one into temp table step two and then into this final um, query at the end and that's what we get so pretty simple um, pretty simple concept um, pretty handy though so um, if you found this um, tutorial useful um, subscribe um, hit the subscribe button uh, button on YouTube um, or the other options come across to my uh, website analyticsinaction.com and have a look at the various tutorials I've got got a quite a broad range of tutorials from information on Transact SQL um, through to integration services reporting services predictive modeling um, and uh, visual analytics so um, so come across and have a look